Hello fellow stackers, 365 here, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I've got another mail call for you. Now this is from World Money Wins, and for those of you that haven't heard of World Money Wins, I will leave a link to his channel in today's video description. But he's a very established stacker, he's a very experienced stacker. I believe he's been stacking for over 30 years, so he's very, very knowledgeable, and he has a lot of different types of precious metals in his stack. He's also done a number of very interesting videos. He did a video a while back now where he started carrying around a gold back with him every single day. So he put it in his wallet and every single day he was carrying it around with him and he does updates on it. So this is a gold back for those of you that don't know. It's spendable gold. This is just a one gold back. It's one one thousandth of a troy ounce. And like I said, he put it in his wallet and he carries it around with him wherever he goes. And every now and then he does a video updating how it's looking. And it's actually holding on very, very well. I assume that after carrying it around for, say, a month or so, it would start looking really tattered and, and maybe even rip. But it's actually a lot harder to rip than you think. I'm not going to try and rip this one because I want to keep it in good condition. This is more of a collector's item for me. It's not something I'm going to be able to spend in this country. But like I said, he carries it around and it's and it's holding up really, really well. So do definitely head over to World Money Wins channel, drop him a subscribe and have a little look for his video where he does his updates on his gold back in his wallet. I've got a few guests in today's video. They're the Drunk Gnome crew and they've been drinking all the alcohol. I haven't been drinking any alcohol for the whole of January. I'm doing dry January and I've actually brought myself a reward for when I complete it. Now this is my favourite whiskey of all time, it is Johnny Walker Blue Label and I brought this from all of the donations that people have made on my Buy Me A Whiskey link that's in the description of my video. So I want to say a massive thank you to everyone that has donated and they've contributed to buying me this whiskey. Like I said this is my favourite whiskey of all time, Johnny Walker Blue Label. And this is only the second bottle I've ever owned of this because it's very, very expensive. The first bottle I owned, someone at work brought me. They actually, it's someone I actually managed and they brought me it for a Christmas present a few years ago. But this is the second bottle I've ever brought. And that is because I saved up all the donations that you kind people have made. And instead of buying a smaller bottle for say £30, something a, a little bit less premium, I saved it all up and I brought this bigger bottle. Now, I say bigger bottle, it's a very, very small bottle. It's actually only, uh, I can't see the size on there. Uh, I'm not sure of the size, but it's one of those smaller size bottles. And even this size, I believe this was like £65, something like that, including delivery. So crazy, crazy price for a bottle of whiskey. But like I said... I wanted to buy something a little bit special to celebrate when I complete dry January because it has been quite tough. There's been days where I've not thought about having a drink, but there's definitely been days, especially when I've been filming videos where I've really fancied a whiskey. Because I think it goes hand in hand when you're playing around with silver coins, having a, a, a sip of a whiskey it really, really goes together nicely. So, yeah, that's my reward when I complete dry January and I will save it to open and try again on on the channel for the first time the last time i tried this whiskey i believe it was two years ago it might have even been three years ago that someone brought me my last bottle of that so yeah really looking forward to to seeing how it tastes if it tastes as good as i remember what well, i have just remembered as well this needs to be lit there we go let's get the candle lit There we go. So let's get straight into the mail call. Thanks to everyone that's still watching and listen to my my ramble, if you like. I need to sharpen this knife. I still haven't got around to doing that. You know what? I've actually got a knife sitting here that might be worth using. This is a knife that I brought after, I believe it was Smoggy that brought a load of knives online. And this was a while back now. And I brought this knife because I thought it looked really, really cool. I think he went for a mystery box knife. And this was one of the knives he got. And I thought it was really cool. And I brought it a while back. But I haven't actually showed it on the channel yet. I use it for unboxing things that aren't to do with the channel. But look how different that is. Look at that. It goes straight into it. So, yeah, maybe it's time I, I use that one until I get around to sharpening 
the other knife. And I'll be honest, I've never actually sharpened the knife before. I always use my kitchen knives until they go really blunt and I just replace them and it's a bit lazy really. I should learn how to sharpen a knife. I believe it's quite easy to do. I'll have to watch a few videos online how to do it. Or if you know how to sharpen knives, do let me know in the comment section. I think I've got one of those knife sharpening things that you use, like a round file thing, isn't it? I'm not sure exactly how to do it. There we go, that's all the outer packaging. And let's see what we have inside. Look at that, straight in. That's a proper blade on that one. Wow, there's loads of stuff in here. Wow, there's loads of bits in here. Well, money wins, what have you sent me here? It's like Christmas again. Right, let's see what we've got. Let me put that away before I cut my hand off. Knock my trunk man out of the way, there we go. Right, so what have we got here? We've got a bag. Kazoo Mint. We've got a the original fractional for USA. And then we've got a letter. Let's have a look. Wow, there's so much stuff here. Thank you very much. Very generous. Okay, so it says 365. What do you get for the guy that has everything? A poker chip. Keep up the great content, my friend. Positivity, optimism, world money wins. Brilliant. Really, really cool note there. Thank you very much. I'll add that to all of my other notes. And for those of you that don't believe I keep hold of all of my mail calls, I actually keep them all in this old monster box. And I actually go as far as these are the ones I haven't had chance to file yet. If we go past this first layer, we can see that everything actually has its own bag. So when you send me something, it actually gets filed away in its own in its own bag. So yeah, everything gets kept. And I've even started keeping the stamps as well. I know um, the stat collector said that he's gone as far as keeping stamps from people. And I've actually started doing that. If I see a cool stamp from a, a different country that I haven't seen before, I actually cut that off as well and add it to this box. So yeah, everyone's stuff goes nice and organized into that box it's really cool sometimes just to sit and go through it i'll have to actually go through it on camera because i quite often just sit there and go through it off camera but yeah let's have a look what we've got so i'm going to start with this one this is a really cool bag i really like this it'll be cool to fill up with like some fractional silver wow loads of bits look at this right so the world money wins poker chip and i believe this is why world money wins was holding off sending me something because he wanted to wait till his poker chips arrived well i've got two you sent me two i think or is that wow let's have a look yeah we've got two just in case you chop one in the river absolutely brilliant <laughs> very very good so we have two luckily i'm not i'm packaging this by a river this time so they're both safe and sound these are really really cool Look at that, really, really like that logo. That looks really crisp, that does as well, that note on there. That's come out really nicely. Expect to self-rescue, 100%. No one is gonna rescue you. Be your own bank, do your own research. Let's face it, that's why we all started getting into precious metals in the first place, because we realized that we've got to look after ourselves because no one's gonna save us. Same again, absolutely brilliant. Thank you very, very much. Thank you for sending me two. If there's anyone in the UK that would like a World Money Wins poker chip, do hit me up. The first person to reply in the comments that they would like one of these, let me know and I'll send you one out. Share the love. What have we got here? Wow, this is really cool. Is this a, no, I thought it was a uh, fridge magnet at first, but I don't think it is. That's cool, it's like Velcro. I'm not sure what that's a logo of. You'll have to let me know in the comment section, but that's Velcro, so that will stick onto something, onto fabric. That's really cool. I haven't seen anything like that before. That's really cool. Pop that over there. Look at these. Got buttscats.com. 
Now, I'm definitely going to have to go and check that out. I've never heard of that website before, but cats.com. <laughs> Look at that. That's brilliant. Right, he goes very nicely with my wee and gnome over there. Let's pop that up over there. Wow, look at this thing. Like a diamond. Regifted from Mineral Exchange. Wow, that's really cool. I really like that. Little holographic sticker. So that's really cool that he's re-gifted something and I'm going to also re-gift his poker chip. It's quite nice to, to play it forward and share the love. And whoever claims the World Money Wins poker chip, I'll also send one of these stickers. Wow, these are really premium stickers as well, really thick. So yeah, whoever claims the poker chip, like I said, if you're from the UK, let me know. And I'll send that over and I'll include one of these stickers as well. Look at that free stickers thank you very much we've got another is there anything on the back nope got another one here dragon bearings again i haven't heard of that brand or anything so let me know in the comment section that's a really cool sticker as well put that over the back there i think that was everything in this bag yep wow really cool nice swag thank you very much my friend put those over there let's try and get him to hold that up there we go there we go, right, so we have the original fractional for USA. Now what have you sent me here? Feels like a tube. The original fractional, what would the original fractional be? Now this will prove my limited knowledge, but would it be the dime? Would that be the original fractional? Three, six, five days of copper, absolutely brilliant. Look at that. 365 days of copper. Wow, a whole tube. And what are they? Are they dimes? Is that what's made out of copper? I don't even know. What have we got? There we go. Look at this. Really packed to the brim. So generous. Look at these. Let's see what coins are. One cent. There we go. Not one dime. So one dime, I'm thinking of. They're the silver ones, aren't they? They have the buffaloes on them, do they? I'm not too sure. I need to brush up on my USA coins. Wow, look at all of these. This is so cool. So generous, Well Money Wins. Thank you so much for sending me all of these. You definitely didn't have to send me a whole tube. All one cents. Wow, really, really cool. 1976. Now, are these still circulated currency in the US this is a question for those of you in the US is this still circulated currency and also is it still made in copper so when new ones of these are released today if it is still circulating are they still made in copper or have they stopped that I'm guessing they've stopped that and it's only the older years but please do educate me in the comment section but that is so cool well, Money Wins knows how much I like my copper. I'm a real sucker for copper. It's like my guilty pleasure. Silver will always be my favourite metal. But I think copper, and this is going to be a controversial thing to say, but I think copper is actually my next best favourite metal before gold. I just think it looks so nice, especially when you get these bullion pieces. It looks really, really nice. It almost looks like gold. The colour of it, definitely, if you compare it to like a, a new sovereign. But yeah, I really, really like the colour of copper. Now, I'm not saying it's a better investment than gold, but I'm just saying as in terms of how it looks and the way you can pick it up in volume because of the price point, I think I actually prefer it. But yeah, really cool. Thank you very much. I just realised how dry my hands are. I work in a, a warehouse and it's minus three degrees today. But there we go. So yeah, thanks very much, Well Money Wins. Really, really appreciate that. Fantastic mail call. So generous of you to send me a whole tube of these. You definitely didn't have to, to send me a whole tube. That was very, very kind of you. And that will be added to my copper stack. And these are really, really cool. Look, you've got some really nice condition ones here as well. Really nice coins to add to the stack. So yeah, like I said, thank you very, very much. Thank you to everyone that's watched today's video. Please head over and subscribe to World Money Wins if you haven't already. And as always, I hope you have a very nice day.